Hi, and welcome to our service of Compline for this Thursday evening, the 30th of July. This evening we will be celebrating William Wilberforce, um, <coughs> a social reformer. A little bit of information about William. William Wilberforce was born in 1759 in Hull converted to an evangelical piety within the Church of England, Wilberforce decided to serve the faith in Parliament instead of being ordained, becoming a member of Parliament at the age of 21. He was a supporter of missionary initiatives and helped find, found the Bible Society. Settling in Clapham in London, he became a leader of the reforming group of evangelicals known as the Clapham Sect. Of all the causes for which he fought, he is remembered best for his crusade against slavery. After years of effort, the trade in slaves was made illegal in the British Empire in 1807 and Wilberforce lived to see the complete abolition of slavery just before his death on this day in 1833. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxter Re Group of Parishes. Let us just take a moment of quiet as we come into the presence of God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Can we take a moment of quiet to reflect on the past day and to bring to God our thoughts and concerns? O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, Make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now we listen to uh, the evening hymn before the ending of the day. And this version is from the nuns who call the midwife.
psalm for this evening is taken from Psalm 22. The Lord has not despised nor abhorred the suffering of the poor. Neither has he hidden his face from them, but when they cry to him, he heard them. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live for ever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he rules over the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And our reading this evening comes from St Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 3. <clears throat> In Jesus Christ you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptised into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light even Christ our Saviour. Now we come to a time of prayer. So let us pray. Gracious God, fountain of all wisdom, we pray for all Christian people, for our Archbishops Justin and Stephen, all our bishops, including David and Anne, and for all those who teach and guard the faith. May the word of Christ dwell richly in our hearts and knit us together in the bond of your love. We pray for the leaders of the nations and for those in authority under them, for our government our ministers. Give them the gift of your wisdom and a right discernment in all things, particularly in this time of pandemic. We pray for our group of parishes 
and each of our communities. For those who live and work in Elder Close and Elm Tree Close in Kingsbury, Club Drive in Hurley, Meadow View in Woodend and Green Lane in Merivale with Bentley. And we pray for those who visit our places of worship and surrounding areas. Speak your word of peace in our midst and help us to serve one another as Christ served us. We pray for those who do not believe and yet who long to know you, the very word of life. Open their ears to your voice and open their hearts to the knowledge of your love in Christ. Do we pray for those bowed down with grief, fear or sickness? For those who have asked specifically for our prayers? Those who are returning to work after being furloughed? Those who are getting tired, having worked constantly through the pandemic? May your living word bring comfort and healing to all those in need. And we give thanks for all those who have died in the faith of Christ, including George Seedhouse, June Alabaster, Eileen Ball, Mary Smith, Marie Rich, Anne Haswell and Peter Lewis. And we rejoice with all your saints, trusting in the promise of your word fulfilled. Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy for ever. Amen. Now we pray the collect for this evening. God our Deliverer, who sent your Son Jesus Christ to set your people free from the slavery of sin, grant that, as your servant William Wilberforce toiled against the sin of slavery, so we may bring compassion to all and work for the freedom of all the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering and pity the distressed, all for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer in its traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks 
us for the morning. So do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Thursday evening. I wish you all a peaceful quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday, 8 o'clock. Take care. God bless.